if you're new here welcome back to my channel my name is tiffany suzette tonight we are going to be preparing a easy and simple dish this is basically seared salmon fillets with some sauteed brussels sprouts i also have some potatoes already that i boiled up they're russell potatoes it's approximately four i'm just going to add some butter some salt pepper some parsley flakes a little bit of msg and uh that's it oh and i also have some shrimp that i have peeled deveined and clean then we're gonna top this we're gonna do a scampi sauce and and put these shrimp and we're gonna top this on top of the salmon so delish i want you guys to try this recipe it takes no time don't forget to subscribe comment down below i'm telling you guys this is going to be amazing let's get into this video i miss you guys so much happy holidays you can also make this video make this recipe um for one of your recipes for the holidays it's really simple and easy anywho that's enough talking let's get into this video so look at these beautiful salmon fillets that i got from giants today they were 5.99 each you know around the holidays all seafood um they're really on sale around this time of the year which is awesome please take advantage of that if you're a seafood eater we love seafood here um we're gonna get this seasoned up so what i'm gonna use is just a sprinkle of lorries we are going to be using some accent this is optional you don't have to use it but i love accent you just have to use it sparingly I'm going to use some garlic powder. This stuff is amazing. Like I told you guys in my previous video, uh, can't go without this. The garlic is not overpowering and it has little parsley flakes in, in here. So amazing. Some onion powder. some good old Tony's Creole seasoning. How was y'all work week? Today was crazy for me. Today was really crazy. <laughs> it worked. I don't know why, but it was. I'm going to flip it over. And as you can see, it's kind of mush on that side. So we're going to just pat this dry. Pat it dry. And once again, Larry's. I'm going to use some accent. Garlic powder. going to use some pepper some onion powder and some creole seasoning I also have um one lemon just cut in, in a third and i'm going to squeeze some lemon juice on this no you cannot substitute the lemon juice that comes in a bottle with this recipe i'm going to cut my pan on medium heat um i have some oil here that i'm going to use preferably you want to use olive oil I just realized I don't have any olive oil, so I'm just going to use some Western canola oil. And I'm just going to put enough. Excuse me. Y'all know, as soon as I put that, that Tony's Creole season on my food, it's just a habit of just sneezing. I don't know what it is. I think it's the cayenne in it. But anywho, we're going to put enough in the pan to cover the bottom. 
because you want a nice sear and we want we want to get this hot. While we're waiting to get this hot, let's get our potatoes together. Our potatoes is done. They have boiled for about 15, 20 minutes on we'll medium heat. And this is four russet potatoes. Yum. So for our potatoes, I'm gonna get grab some butter here. Tonight I'm using I can't believe it's not butter. Normally I would use um, country crock, but they actually had this one on sale. And from prior uh, of me using this, this is a really good type of butter. What it says, not butter, margarine. And just gonna add that while potatoes are nice and hot. Gonna add some where's my some sea salt sea salt also is a good salt to put on after, well yeah after your dishes are prepared gonna use some pepper gonna use some accent Make sure a pan, a pan is almost there. And then we're gonna mash this up. I don't have a masher, so I'm using a fork. And I'm gonna show you guys a, a key ingredient to take your parsley potatoes or mashed potatoes up to the next notch. You can be like, are you serious? Yes, that serious. Gonna use a little bit more butter. Wow, I'm gonna let this melt a little bit. Let's get our salmon into the pan. When you wanna sear salmon, that's what you wanna hear. With that pan nice and hot, and the size of these fillets, you only want to cook these fillets for about maybe three and a half to four minutes on each side, because salmon can cook very fast if your if your pan is uh, heated properly, and you don't want your fish to taste like cardboard. That's a no no. You want it nice and flaky. When you're using your fork and you're peeling off, it wants to just melt. So this is what you want. Looks so good. Look at that beautiful color. Key ingredient to some amazing parsley potatoes or mashed potatoes. Cream cheese. Yes, I know. I know. I know. My aunt put me on. Yes, indeed. I want y'all to give a thumbs up to my aunt Bootsy in the comments uh, section down below. Or hey, Aunt Gloria. Yes, this is what you need. And you only need a little bit. A half a tablespoon is all you really need, depending on the size of how many potatoes you, you prepare. And don't worry, I'm watching the salmon closely. I'm watching, I'm watching. So, I'm going to do... I'm not used to doing measurements because I've, I've been cooking so long, so I just know. So just like a corner tip of four rusty potatoes is all you need. A little bit more if you're gonna do uh, six to seven potatoes, but you mix it in really well. Yes, the fish is fine, I got it. And you just mix it in, look at that. The whole consistency of the potatoes, they change. And you mix that in really well. If you see a big chunk, just keep mixing. And it's like a whipped type of uh, consistency. 
I'm going to add some dry parsley. I'm going to add just a little bit more of butter. I'm also going to add some more accent and some pepper. And that is it. Our potatoes are done. They're done. The salmon is smelling amazing. Yum. Okay. Yum. We're going to cover that with some aluminum foil. And we go ahead and finish working on the rest of our recipe. Finish. Let's go to our salmon. So as you can see, the salmon is cooking from the bottom up. It's halfway, <coughs> excuse me, it's halfway cooked. So this is the proper time. Let's go ahead and flip it over. It even has a little brown crust around it. basting the butter over the salmon. Our salmon is looking beautiful. It's almost ready. Maybe about another minute to go. Next dish, we got, we're about to uh, saute our uh, Brussels sprouts up. Uh, we also about to saute our shrimp up, and that is it. Our right, honey face. Oop. Our right, honey faces. So I don't have any bacon, but I do have some black forest ham that I got from the deli. I got this from Wise, and what we want to do is we're just gonna chop this down because we're gonna fry this up. And once it get fried up and sauteed. We're gonna add this to our Brussels sprouts once they're almost done, because we don't want it to burn. Just give it a good chop. Doesn't have to be fine. You can use pieces like this. 
waiting for a pan to heat up. How yummy and vibrant and green does that look? So beautiful, right? Yum. Who doesn't love Brussels sprouts? And if you don't love Brussels sprouts, try this recipe. It would change your mind. I promise you. Do y'all trust me? Do you trust me? I got you. All right. So, my pan is almost heated up. So, while I'm waiting for my pan for the Brussels sprouts and our shrimp to warm up, which is almost completely ready. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly season our shrimp. These are some uh, extra large shrimp. Going to some seasoned salt. MSG. Garlic powder with parsley. Some pepper. And some Tony's Creole seasoning. And some onion powder. Our pan is nice and hot. Gonna salt it down. Put on my strap. So our pan is nice and hot for our sauteed shrimp. Now, mind you, we got the Brussels sauce going, and we got about to put the shrimp on. Clean up as we go. We're gonna now put our pan up to medium heat for our shrimp. Going basically back and forth with our shrimp and our Brussels sprouts. I rinse my spoon off. Look at that. That's that char we want. I'm gonna season it with some seasoned salt. Accent. Garlic powder. It smells amazing in here. Amazing. So good. Some pepper. <laughs> Y'all better try this recipe and stop playing. Some Tony Creole seasoning. Some onion powder. I'm going to add some butter into this. And as you know, Brussels sauce are really stern. So I'm going to cover this. I'm going to add a little bit of oil back to this. And then I'm going to cover for about five to eight minutes so that I can get it soft. I like a little bit of crunch to mine, so if you like your sauce, that's fine. So 
it looks amazing, right? So I shop are almost done. This is gonna add some garlic to this. I let it saute down. I'm also gonna add some fresh lemon juice to this. It's okay that pieces of the lemon um, falls into the dish. It can only make it taste so much better. I promise. And of course, you know when your shrimp get pink, they're already done. Just make sure that they're pink on both sides. Completely all the way through. Let this go for about a minute and they will be done. Let's check on our Brussels sprouts. Looking really good. And now let's add on our black pork here. We're not on the answer. And we're just going to saute this up until the ham, uh, the ham, the ham gets a little bit of crispy. And that's it. But before we want it to get crispy, we want to add in some fresh chopped garlic. Yum. And this is about two and a half, oops, two and a half cloves. Now, once we add the ham in, um, you don't want to cover it. If you use bacon, you of course you will want to cook the bacon first and then add that in after it's done. So, honey faces, this is our end result of our. Uh, Black Forest ham sauteed with fresh garlic and Brussels sauce and some oil. I promise you, this is so amazing. Look at that guy. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Please try this recipe. Give this recipe a thumbs up. Enjoy this with your family and friends. Please put your notifications on so my next upload, you will already be notified. Once again, happy Fridays, happy holidays. I'm coming back to you real soon because I'm going to show you how to make the best, juiciest turkey ever. You trust me? Yes. I believe you. So, anywho, stay blessed and let's trust. I love you guys. Good night. Bye. Okay, honey faces, this is the final. All right, guys, so this is the most exciting time. We're gonna, we're about to plate up. We're gonna start with our parsley potatoes. And I'm plating up for the both of us because we're gonna be sharing this, me and Cubby. Look how beautiful that looks. Cubby loves potato. So he would have a good helping of it. And then I'm gonna use a scoop of our Brussels sprouts. That's the TV y'all here in the background. It looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it?
Wow. Wait till y'all see these babies. Look at that. Look at that. And just a juicy we're gonna pour on top for my salmon. Look at that. We did good. And just to finish that off, let's grab our shrimp. Drizzle. And that is our dinner for tonight, Friday night. Easy, simple. I need y'all to try this because y'all know yum 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 it looks delicious and it's gonna taste delicious love you guys try this because y'all know yum 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 it looks delicious and it's gonna taste delicious love you guys try this because y'all know yum 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 it looks delicious and it's gonna taste delicious love you guys 